Hello everyone, welcome to my feeding video. Uh, this time I'd like to do something a little different and uh, start off uh, with my smallest teas and work my, my way up to my largest teas. Uh, so this is my smallest one in my collection of 23. Uh, this is my Afono Palma Calcodes. So I'm going to give it a very small cricket and uh, hopefully we can get some kind of attack. That is, if I can open the container that the cricket is in. There we go. Hmm. Still spooked. Well, that one's definitely small enough. Nope, not interested. That's not a good way to start. <laughs> Alright, stay tuned for the next one. This is my second smallest tarantula. This is my Paraphysa parvula. No, that didn't help. <laughs> Isn't that a beautiful sling? There you go. Great attack. Look at you. You're so beautiful. you enjoy your treat. This is my Formictopus cancerides. <laughs> Perfect. I have some more in there for you, sweetie. I guess one's good for now. <laughs> this one always does that cute little web dance. Isn't that cute? Well, I have more treats in there for you. You can enjoy them later. Or you can enjoy them now. Whichever you prefer. <laughs> the cricket escaped and then uh, grabbed it back. That was cute. <laughs> we got to get you started at an early age. So that way you could be a vicious monster. When you're an adult, like all Formictopus cancerides are.
this one and enjoy its meal. This is my Nidu Carapanensis. It's in a very skittish mood tonight. Let's see if we can give it some crickets to chase after. There you go. I don't always get this one on camera eating. Well, I got you some more in there. All right, enjoy. This is my Nandu Colorado Velosis who already tried to escape. So let's see if we can give it a cricket to distract it or scare it out of its enclosure, depending on the mood. I don't think this one's interested. Just was interested in getting out of the enclosure. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll leave that one in there. This is my Phono Palma Simani. Sometimes when you try to help, you just make things worse, and the cricket escapes. <laughs> hmm. I don't think this one's interested either. Well, we'll leave it in there and check on it later. This is probably the fastest tarantula in my collection, Hetroscadra maculata. Oh, good attack. Goodbye. <laughs> awesome. Pretty big treat for that one, too. Didn't stop it. I'm going to put the lid on. I don't leave the lid off. For very long with this tarantula. <laughs> no, thank you. This one's just crazy. Yep. There it is. Alright. The next tea we will feature is the Acanthoscuria genicolata.
Well, didn't get the cricket. I think it's just out of range. Well, there's a good view of your teeth. <laughs> Smile for the camera. Alright, not interested. Uh -huh. I don't want to disturb this one, but this one is in heavy primo mold. This is the Lassiodora Pear Habana. And as you can see, it's making a web bed. So it will molt very soon. So I'm not even going to open the lid of this enclosure and just leave it alone. See how dark the abdomen is and swollen? Oh yeah, I'll be surprised if it's not molted tomorrow. Okie doke. This is my Thrixopalma Ocrity. Doing really well. And of course, I had to put the cricket in a place where it's not going to get it. But yeah, isn't she beautiful? Good. Well, I was mistaken. I stand corrected. You did get it. Well, good. Good for you. It's a good sized cricket for you, too. That'll fatten you up. <laughs> Alright, on to the next one. This is my favorite bracky, the bracky palm of Bomi. See if it would like a cricket. <laughs> that one almost always dives for its food. I need to name this one after a good dive, like a great diver. So if any of you know of any great divers out there, we'll name this Bomi after that diver. This one just always does that. <laughs> I love this tea. It's so beautiful. I think this is one of the most beautiful tarantulas out there. My favorite color is red, so I'm sure that has something to do with it, too. <laughs> Reddish orange legs. Sweet. All right. Okay, now we're starting to enter into the realm of teas that need water dishes. So here we are with my medium sized tarantulas. This is the Brachypalma smithy. Very good. One of the best teas to own. 
great for beginners too. I had someone recently ask me what tea they recommend uh, for a starter tarantula and I said either the smithy uh, that's colorful too and I said the uh, smithy is definitely a very good one to start off with and they ended up getting it so good for them they'll enjoy it All right, enough of this one. Move on to the next one. This is my Vicularia of Vicularia. I decided to name this one Poopers. Uh, you can probably guess why I named it that. Um, I haven't gotten this one to tong feed yet, so I'm just going to drop the cricket in there and just let it get it at its own leisure. And this is just merely an update for this one but I'm going to go ahead and give this one two crickets so merely an update I'm still not a hundred percent happy with this enclosure I mean I'm happy with the size of the enclosure but I'm not happy with what's in it I want to put uh, different kinds of climbing wood in there um, I got some bark there, bark there, some a stick there, but I don't know. I'd, I'd rather have like a thicker stick, so we'll see. All right, that's enough of the avicularia, avicularia. Let's go back to the avicularia, avicularia. This one is definitely hungry. And... Got its meal. Very good. Glad you could see that attack. All right. The next size up, we'll do the Brachypoma abopolosum. There you go. What? No cricket leg to fly out of the enclosure this time like the last video? I feel slighted. <laughs> nah, that was a good attack. Well, I have another cricket in there in case you want to. Isn't that nice of me? <laughs> I gave this one a cave, but uh, for whatever reason, uh, she webbed it up and doesn't use it. <laughs> Just uses it to climb on top of and that's it. But it's there in case she changes her mind. Alright, very good. This is the Acanthoscuria Brocklehursty. Okay. <laughs> the tongs are stuck. There we go. Okay.
<laughs> I'll tell you, this thing would eat anything I put in there. <laughs> I knew that would draw her out. Or him, I think it's a male. Okay, you enjoy your worm. This is probably my second fastest tea in my collection. The uh, Poclotheria striata. Oh, that didn't help. Well, at least you got a pretty quick glimpse of her. No attack this time, though. But I love how it's designed its enclosure. My goodness. Look at that. Pretty cool. All right, we'll move on to the next one. This is my Chromata Palma Cianio Pupudescence. Have at it, girly. <laughs> All yours. Isn't she gorgeous? I mean, after the P. Metallic, I have to say this one's the best looking tarantula out there. The M. Balfouri would probably be next, in my opinion. I'm so glad I have one of these. Everyone needs one of these. Isn't that right? So you need some water, so we'll remedy that in a minute. Okay, enjoy your treat. And next up we have the Somapoa Serminia. Well, I don't know if you saw that, uh, with the glare but uh, yeah you got one you see the cricket leg there dangling well cool glad you got it well fruitcake decided to pay us a visit this time unlike last time this is my Nandu Chromatis. Don't know if you're in the mood to eat. Your abdomen looks awfully swollen. But we'll give it a shot, just in case. I thought you were in pre molt but I guess it's possible I'm wrong. So we'll double check. If you don't want it, I'm sure you'll give me a threat posture. want it. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> I 
Look at you. I wish you would hurry up and molt, my dear. I want to see how more beautiful you can get. I'll give you some more water. Well, I'm glad we could see you today. I'm glad you're a little more sociable. <laughs> Alright. This is where my Trino Chilis Muranus resides. And we'll see if it's hungry. I think it got it. It was more of a gentle uh, it was more of a gentle grab this time unlike the last time. The last time it was a snatch. Whew. Well, at least we get to see a leg. That's better than nothing. <laughs> Alright. My grandma stole a rosea. Is fasting as usual. Did not eat the cricket that I left in there. So there she is, an update. She's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I can usually pet her. Yeah, there you go, sweetie. Alright, well we'll leave you alone. I believe we have two tarantulas left. All right, thanks. Well, there's the usual angry uh, Ceratogyrus brachycephalus. Well, the reason why she's angry today is because I had to do something that I really don't like to do, but I needed to find out. Um, her fangs looked like they were a little red. So I'm thinking, you know what, I bet she finally molted. So I had to open up her uh, little layer here, uh, which I really hated to do, but I needed to find out. And what do we have here? Voila, a molt, or at least part of one. So I really had to struggle to get this molt out of there uh, because she was in the way. Uh, but yeah, that's what's left of it. I wish she'd come out and let us see her, because she's got to be very impressive in size now. But yeah, she's grouchy as always. She's got her fangs spread apart. I wish I had a better flashlight. But anyway, yeah, she's down there and she's mad, so we'll leave her alone now. Okay. Finally, my... Last tarantula, Brachypalma vagans. Probably my largest tarantula in my collection, if not the Ceratogyrus brachycephalus. They're kind of a toss up. This vagans grows fast. There you have it. I hope you've enjoyed this feeding video. I think it was pretty good. Alright, y'all have a good night.